Farm Manager Series Dealing with Problems in the Workplace. Would you like to have your staff working well together and accomplishing the work of your business efficiently? Watch for and address any problems as soon as possible. I'm Pat McCabe and I'll be taking you through this training. When you have an employee whose work is substandard, identify the issue first to figure out how you can best deal with it. First, look at the scale of the problem. Is this a one-time mistake? Or is it an apparent pattern that you've seen repeated over time? Or is it one colossal mistake? As the manager, you should also try to identify where in the employee's training or orientation they were first provided with the expectations and directions for this part of their job. Maybe the problem behavior is actually due to a gap in their training. This may help you also improve future training. Of course, your response depends on the nature of the problem in the person's work. If it's a one-time mistake, have a short conversation about it as soon as possible. Remember, everyone has an off day now and then. If it's one colossal mistake, Talk with your employee as soon as possible with a clear outline of the impact of the problem and the need for that person to change what they do. If it's an apparent pattern that you've seen repeated over time, have a longer conversation if earlier feedback hasn't been incorporated after you've been able to diagnose what's really going on. Prepare the person to accept the feedback by explaining in advance, tomorrow let's talk about the last few times you've prepped orders for the farmer's market. I'd like to hear what you think and figure out how to improve this. There are three simple steps to asking for change. First, identify the issue and make a request for the desired change. For example, I need you to stack the produce boxes differently. Second, identify what their next steps will be. Give examples of what you need them to do. For example, here's what you can do next time. Try to pack the same amount of produce for around the same weight in each box and make sure the flaps close down all the way so that the box top is flat. Third, describe the impact of the change. Why is it important that they do this? For example, this means others can easily stack the boxes and distribute the load evenly in the truck for a smoother ride to the market. Remember, people can often be motivated to change if you outline the reason behind the change, why it's important, what's the impact. Try to figure out what's really going on. Is it that they don't know the job? Are they new to the job? Are they new to this assignment? Then provide them with additional training. Support them with a mentor, someone who already knows how to do this well. Review your expectations for the tasks they need to do. Repeat your directions to them as needed for each task they take on. And check for their understanding. What are they going to do differently next time? Ask them to explain the task to you in their own words or show you how they'll accomplish the work. What's really going on? Maybe it's that they can't do the job. Are there physical or cognitive limits? Maybe they simply don't have the math skills or the dexterity to handle the equipment. If this is the case, assign them to a mentor who can show them how it's done, provide options for how the job can be done differently, move them to another role if possible, check for understanding. Make sure the staff member understands what's needed in every task and ask if they can come up with another way to accomplish the final outcome that you need. If an employee discloses a health issue to you, you can ask for a doctor's note outlining the limitations of their work. Employers with 15 or more employees may need to consider accommodations that are requested by an employee under the Americans with Disability Act or the ADA. More details for small employers and reasonable accommodations can be found at www.eeoc.gov. Maybe it's that they won't do the job the way you need it performed. In this case, repeat your directions and check that they understand what's needed. Describe the impact again, why the tasks need to be done in this manner. Move the person to another role if possible. Explain the consequences of not doing the work correctly. 
and ultimately dismiss the employee from their job if they still won't do it the way that you need it done. Make notes for yourself of feedback that you've delivered and incidents that have occurred. If there's a pattern, document your feedback that you've given in writing. Send the employee an email or letter. Thanks for talking today. We agreed that you would do the following next time. And continually repeat what you need them to do in order to be successful in the role. That's the end of the lesson.